going to show you guys how to um, uh, use the transform compute function in SPSS to compute a new variable. And we're going to use S um, BMI as an example. So we go up here, click on transform, then compute. Okay, and now what we're going to do is enter our new um, variable name. So let's call it compute BMI. Alright, now here in this numeric expression you can use this to build uh, your formula. Okay, so let's think about what the um, BMI is. BMI is, I think it's weight in kilograms. So let's go down here. Um, weight in meters. No, weight in kilograms. Okay, so we can double click that and move that over. Weight in kilograms divided by, I'm going to put in a parenthesis here. Um, and it's going to be uh, height in meters squared. So you can do height in meters times height in meters. Okay, so weight in kilograms divided by height in meters squared. I think that's the right formula. Um, so then we click OK. Now it's going to compute a new variable. So if we went over to our... Um, and it's going to add it right to the end. So you see here's our new variable. Okay, we're going to call it cal uh, calculated BMI. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go up here. We want to make sure that um, it looks it looks like what we think it should look like. So we're going to do... You can run a frequency. A frequency is going to give you a, a bunch of uh, funky looking things. But we can do, let's see, let's do descriptives, or explore, I like explore, move down there, calculated BMI, um, statistics, let's look for outliers, plots, I like histogram, I hate stem and leaf, let's go ahead and check for normality, alright, and this, what I'm doing here, we've already calculated our variable, what we're now doing is just checking to make sure it looks like what we think it should look like, so we have um, valid in for 500 people, Here's our mean BMI, all right, uh, here's the true mean, here's our outliers, so we have um, one person, the highest BMI, uh, those look like they're a little too high for real BMIs, okay, um, yeah, so these are obviously errors, okay, um, so that means if you see an error like that, where you have a BMI of either zero, okay, or BMI of, uh, these values here, that that's, means there's an obvious error either in the height or in the weight. Or what you what happened is you didn't have, and I'll bet you this is what it is. Um, let's see, uh, weight. Where is that weight variable? Um, okay, highest level of education. Ah, my guess is that we didn't have. Discrete missing variables. We want to take out those missing. My guess is that's what happened. Okay. Another thing, you can copy it. Okay. Just hit Control Copy, Paste, 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 Paste. Okay. So now let's let's do the same transform compute. We're gonna. It, it, anytime you change, you have to re. Uh, you add new data or you clean it. You have to recalculate. So we're just gonna recalculate this again. It's gonna ask me if I want to change it. I do. Let's run our explore and see if it makes a little more sense this time. Don't have to change anything. Uh, and so we go down. Ah, yeah. Now look at this. A much more realistic BMI. Alright. Here's our high values. Here's our low values. Ooh, somebody's really skinny. Um, and look at that. That's exactly what we would expect. Now, what, you, what we want to do is we want to compare the calculated BMI with what you guys did by hand um, and see if, if uh, it all comes out the same. So that's how you use the transform compute function to compute a new variable.